Welcome sa zipline.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on subtraction of fractions. No? Sa SF1, SF1, pinag-usapan natin yung... Uh, this is the video code, no? Uh, kung pupunta kayo sa YouTube, sa zipline.com. Ito yung video code ng uh, ating uh, series. SF1, we talked about uh, subtraction of similar fractions. Tapos sa SF2, uh, subtraction of uh, dissimilar fractions. At dito sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin yung subtraction of mixed fractions. No? Sabi natin, pag mixed fractions, ibig sabihin, meron siyang meron siyang syempre, meron siyang kasamang whole number. No? So, for example, 3 and 1 fourth is a mixed fraction dahil meron siyang kasama. Of course, we can subtract uh, an uh, an improper or a proper fraction from this, no? Basta as long as meron tayong mixed fraction, it's either sa minuend or sa subtrahend, no? So, let's have our first example. Number one. Uh, six and one-seventh minus two and three-seventh. Well, ang pinaka, no? Ang pinaka-standard method, no? Ang usually na ginagawa sa pag-subtract ng fraction na uh, mixed no? or even sa pag-add ay to convert the uh, mixed fraction into improper fraction. No? So, 6 and 1 over 7, for example. Paano siya kinoconvert again? Naalala nyo pa ba? So, we multiply this and then add the result to the numerator. So, This is uh, 7. No? So whatever the, the denominator here, ganun din yung denominator mo sa resulting fraction mo. Tapos yung numerator dito, eh, magiging result nitong operation na ito. So 6 times 7 is 42 plus 1, 43. No? So ibig sabihin, yung unang fraction natin is 43 over 7. No? Tapos yung pangalawang fraction natin, 2 and 3 over 7. That is, again, we, uh, we multiply and then we add. And the resulting fraction will have a uh, denominator also of 7. So that's 7 times 2, 14 plus 3, 17. So 43 over 7 minus 17 over 7. No? So ano nang gagawin natin? No? We just subtract kasi ano naman sila? Similar fractions naman, ibig pareho. Pareho naman yung kanilang denominators, no? So, we just have to subtract, no? Pag magkaiba yan, syempre, kukunin natin yung LCM. But here, we have uh, uh, similar fractions. So, 43 minus 17, that's 6 to 26 over 7, no? And, syempre, no? Standard, usually, ang, ang ating... Uh, this is already correct, no? Pero may, most of the time, yung mga teachers, lalo sa elementary sa high school, mas gusto nila na nasa mixed fraction. So, uh, we convert this again to mixed fraction, yung pinaka-final answer natin. So, 76 divided by uh, 7, or 26 divided by 7, we have 3. This is 21, 5, no? So, ito yung whole number natin. This is the whole number. This is the numerator. And this is the denominator. So, ibig sabihin, this is equal to uh, 3 and 5 over 7. No? Uh, just check, no? Kailangan pareho pa rin sila ng, ng, ano, no? ng uh, denominator. Okay, that's our first example. Our uh, second example, we have um, 5 and 3 fourth minus minus 3 and 1 half. No? Okay, so may pagkakataon na pag-obvious na mas malaki naman yung fraction dito at saka yung nandito. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-convert. Ano, no? mag, uh, so katulad na sa addition, uh, pwede tayo mag... pwede natin hiwalayin yung, ano, no? yung uh, whole number. So 5 minus 3 is 2. 
Tapos ang isasubtract na lang natin ay 3 fourth minus 1 half, no? Which is equal to, ang LCM niyan ay 4, di ba? I think it's obvious. 4 at saka 2. Yan, yung sa ladder method natin. So divided by 2, ang i-divide natin is prime number. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the LCM of 4 and 2 is uh, 4. So this is 3 fourth, no? Wala tayong babaguhin dito kasi 4 lang naman yung, uh, 4 naman yung kanyang denominator, no? Ang babaguhin natin yung hindi 4, no? So for magiging 4 itong uh, denominator nito, so 4 divided by 2 times 1, that's 2, no? So, katulad ng ginawa natin, so we divide and then we multiply para makuha natin yung equivalent fraction ng 1 half. So again, we have, uh, we already have a um, similar, uh, we have similar fractions already, so just copy the denominator and then subtract the numerator. So 2 and 1 fourth, no? Okay? So may magkakataon na mas malaki ito, no? Kaya minsan kailangan mo talagang mag -ganito. But sa susunod na video ay ang gagawin natin is tuturan ko yun strategy paano mag-borrow at para hindi na tayo mag-ganito, no? Sa susunod na video, abangan nyo, no? Anyway, tapusin natin to. We have uh, we have two more examples. We have number 3. 8 minus 4 and 1, 6. Okay? So again, pwede natin, may shortcut dito na ituturo ko rin sa susunod na video, but here, ang gagamitin natin lahat na strategy, yung standard method kung saan kinoconvert natin lahat sa uh, improper, no? So ang 4 and 1, 6, para maging improper siya, 6 pa rin yung kanya magiging denominator. So 4 times 6 plus 1, this is 25 over 6. So, ibig sabihin, this is equal to 8 minus 25 over 6. Okay, no, lang natin, no, tapos binago natin ito. And again, pag whole number, anong ginagawa natin? We have 8 over 1. Pag whole number, para siya maging fraction, lagyan mo na siya ng 1. Minus 25 over 6. Anong LCD? Ng dalawang fractions na yan. By the way, uh, baka marami sa inyo na confuse kung ano ba yung LCM at LCD. Ang LCM, multiple siya. Pag M, di ba? Pag LCD, siya ay uh, denominator. So, pag sinabing LCD, what is the LCD of 8 over 1 at 25 over 6? Kasi fraction yung pinag-uusapan dito, kaya may denominator. Pero pag sinabing LCM, what is the LCM of 1 and 6, no? So, yun lang yung difference, no? Kasi minsan nasa switch ko yan, but of course, I mean the same thing, no? Yung uh, LCM nitong dalawang yan. So, we have 6. Of course, 6 yan. Kasi pag ikaw ay nag, meron kang 1 at saka 6. So, pag prime, no? Puro prime ang i-divide natin. This is 1. This is 3, di ba? Uh, so, 2 times 3. These are all prime, no? And 2 times 3 is 6. Pagkuha ng LCM, no, dinidivide natin lahat ng uh, mga denominators by prime numbers hanggat maging prime na sila lahat. Tapos, um, ang gagawin natin is to uh, multiply all the prime numbers no, uh, after the division. Ay, meron tayong separate post dyan, no? so pwede nyo tignan. Okay, so we have, um, dapat 6 din ito, no? yung sa 8 over 1. So 6 divided by 1 times 8 is 48 and then minus 25 over 6 wala na tayong babaguhin kasi 6 na yan so 48 minus uh, 25 what is 48 minus 25 that's 23 over 6 or um, again we convert this to uh, mixed fraction no? although this is already correct but again, you can have two answers, depende sa teacher ninyo, no? So, 23 over 6, that's uh, 3, 18. It's 5. That's 3 and 5 over 6. So, 6 pa rin ang kanyang uh, denominator, no? Tapos itong quotient, yun yung maging whole number natin. And the 5, the remainder will be the numerator, no?
So, yan yung uh, this is conversion of uh, improper fraction to mixed fraction. We will have our last example. So, our last example, we have 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 fifth. Anong mas malaki yung 1 fourth or 1 fifth? Mas malaki yung 1 fourth, no? So, pwede tayo mag-minus. So, 1 fourth minus 1 fifth. Anong LCD? Ang dalawang fractions. 20 yan, no? So, uh, 4 and 5 with the ladder method. Ano ang unang prime na pwede natin i-divide? 2, no? So, 2, 5. So, 2 times 2 times 5. That's 20. Actually, pwede nyo na yun i-multiply, no? But uh, I want you to remember this, lalo na yung mga hindi ka pakabisado kasi uh, most of the time, pag, pag uh, nagmamadali or uh, minsan namamali yan, no? lalo na kung maraming numbers, minumultiply, lalo kung lumalaki, no? But anyway, uh, kahit, kahit uh, ano naman ang LCD niyan, kahit uh, 40, pwede naman kasi mag-ano mag, ka rin naman, mag-lowest terms ka sa uli, no? But anyway, kinukuha natin yung LCD para uh, maliit lang yung numbers na i-deal with natin. No? So, 20 divided by 4, that's 5. Four, 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 20 divided by 5, 4. Times 1 is 4. So, that's 1 over 20. Okay, so yan yung ating... Uh, uh, subtraction of fractions na video and uh, sa, sa susunod na video tuturuan ko kayo paano kung paano yung shortcut o yung pampadali no? magbabarrow tayo ng uh, yung borrowing technique sa subtraction. Maraming salamat see you in the next tutorial